So that's a graph to basically tell you um, how bright and how dark your image is. It's yeah, the, this is the word that don't don't worry so much. Yeah. You have to use it all the time. But if if you see it and if you want to use it, this is how. It's basically telling you. So it's live actually. Yes, that's it. So anything towards the left hand side of the graph is yeah, the dark, dark things. Yeah, yeah. And try and get the cathedral right in the middle of the frame. That's perfect. And that's great. And then yeah, effective view. That's it. If you kind of half press on the button there that pre-focuses and then you'll be fully pressed down obviously that'll take your shot. What did you uh, enjoy about today then Eric? Oh, pretty much everything really. Uh, it was a great day out, weather was great. Um, it was lovely meeting all the tutors as well, all the, the tutors here. Um, some great advice all the way through the day. Um, so it wasn't just one thing we focused on, you could do what you wanted, but you're getting really good advice all the way through the uh, afternoon, so it's an afternoon session today. And walking along the Thames is absolutely fantastic, so uh, I've always worked in London for, off and on and I've never had a chance to do that, so hopefully, fingers crossed, I've got some good shots in there, so uh, we'll soon find out. If you, if you can't go, if you can't for some reason get your aperture nice and wide, if it's going to overexpose a shot, you can bring your subject further forwards and it'll make that background nice and blurred from there. The, there's two ways you can cheat to either bring them forwards, but if they can't come forwards, you can get closer to them. So even, and we can maybe demonstrate this a bit more. Rebecca, if we go towards the wall, we actually go onto this little ledge. So now it's just a case that we need to adjust the settings to allow us to try this ghosting. So ghosting is where we keep the background as still as possible and as evenly lit as possible. But anything that moves within the shot during the exposure blurs a little bit. So it's going to be the people. And it may just be, it may be a slight bit of motion, but it transforms the, the solid body into, they'll refer to as a ghost, you know, that slightly more uh, kind of open apparition. I really loved it. I really enjoyed being on that bridge, learning how to do the ghosting. And I'm going to take that home and practice. And it's really good to be in with people that know what they're talking about. I was struggling with the uh, settings, especially with uh, different light settings, mostly on the brights. So, you know, with you in person, you know, asking you questions was really, really useful. 